you know, you, you're in the Olympics in 2012. And uh, I know that a lot of people that's listening to this, they're, they're thinking, okay, how did you, how did you do it? What was that decision that made you get into the Olympics? Uh, I think a, a, a big thing was just knowing and setting that, that vision for what you want for your life. Mm. Um, because when you can set that vision and you know what you want to uh, accomplish, um, it helps you to get through the rough patches because the rough patches come, it's not just like this smooth sailing road where it's like everything just goes your way. Mm. Um, but the reason I ended up getting into habits and my love habits is because that's what it really came down to is as you get to a higher and higher level in sports, what you end up realizing is that you get around obviously more and more talented people. Like if you're talking about NBA basketball, yeah. everyone in the NBA is extremely talented. Like even someone who you see riding the bench, they're very good at basketball. Mm. Um, so what ends up making the difference a lot of times is like the little things. Um, mm. It's not just showing up to practice at that point. It's the sleep. It's the hydration. It's eating properly. Mm. And when I was in high school and in college, I really worked on like getting those little things right. Um, and, it, and it really took you know, not conforming to what everybody else is doing. In, in college, everybody wants to party, everybody wants to drink, and yeah. that's a lifestyle they want to live. But I had to be disciplined and do everything I could to try and get to bed and get, get eight to nine hours of sleep and yeah. to, to, to eat good and get my nutrition right. And what ends up happening is below, I think of it like the bamboo tree, below the ground, it's like the roots are growing and they're getting bigger and stronger to be able to support this big tree. But Above the, above the surface, you don't see anything happening yet. Exactly. And that's what happened. Mm. It was like my first couple of years of college, I was actually hurt a couple of years. And then um, I had one season where I stayed healthy the whole year, but I didn't really perform super well. Okay. And at the end of that season, my coach was like, Ian, if you can stay healthy like that again, one more year, like it, it's going to be insane. And I, and I didn't really take it as anything. I was just like, oh yeah, whatever. Like he's okay. just being nice. <laughs> but it was 100% right. The next year I came back and Whoa. everything just went my way. I just started killing kids. Mm. And um, it was because of like the years and years of work happening below ground that no one else was seeing. And then all of a sudden that bamboo tree started to grow mm. and it just shot up really quickly. Mm.